here's how we're going to change out the filter. Uh, it's been 12 months, time to change the filter, and there's really two ways we can do this. One way involves leaving the whole unit on the shower arm and simply placing pressure on the top and uh, screwing the bottom portion off. And grabbing the new one and simply screwing it back right in place. And while doing this, never pull down on that shower arm or, or apply any pressure to that metal portion there. Now, if your cartridge doesn't come off very easily, it's hard to turn, you're going to need to take the whole unit off the shower arm. Simply grab those pliers and unscrew. With the unit off the shower arm, you can have more torque and leverage to unscrew the entire unit. If it's super, super tight, you may want to get a, a strap wrench to grab extra leverage uh, on the filter. And again, while off the arm, just put the new filter on. Reattach to the shower arm. If you do take the unit off, make sure when putting it back on that you twist it down very well. Uh, there is an O-ring in there that does need to be depressed for the proper seal. If after replacing your shower filter and you find leakage at the shower arm up by the metal part, you will need to tighten the uh, connection further. And you can do that if it's not spraying out too much. You can turn the water on and tighten until there's no more water coming out of that connection up there. And that's it. Your new shower filter is installed.